What is going on guys, welcome to the third video of the C++ tutorial series on Neural9. In today's video we're going to build the first simple Hello World program and we're going to also compile and run it on Windows. So let us get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and call it main.cpp. You can actually call it whatever you want as long as it's something.cpp. And then we're going to open it up in Visual Studio Code. And one thing that you're going to see right away is that we cannot just go ahead and start coding. You cannot just go ahead and say, okay, I want to print hello world. So let, let me go ahead and say print hello world. In C++, what we need is a so-called main function, an entry point for the program. Now in Python, you can just go ahead and execute simple statements because Python is interpreted, but also a scripting language. You can just write scripts and they get executed from top to bottom. Of course, you can have functions and classes and all of that. But essentially, you don't need to specify this is my main function. This is the entry point of the program. You just go ahead and you start it. Um, you can do it, but you don't need to do it. In C++, you need to do it. You need to specify a so-called main function in order to get the program running in the first place. And uh, in order to define that main function, what you do is you type int main, then parentheses, and then curly brackets that specify the code block of that function. And since it's a function with the so-called return value int or return data type int, which is integer, uh, we need to add a return statement in the end here as well. We're just going to return zero. And now you might see why I meant that maybe you're going to be a little bit confused if you've never programmed before. You don't know what int is. You don't know what a function is. You don't know what a return value is. And now you have to learn all these things. Uh, if you know Python decently, or if you're decent at Python, you know what a return value is, you know what a function is, and you know what an integer is. You maybe are confused why we write a data type before uh, the function name, but that's all. Um, and it might be a little bit confusing for a beginner to see all these things in the first video already, but that's what you need to do in C++. It's also, by the way, what you need to do in Java and C Sharp. You also need a main function there. Uh, but we're going to not get too deep into the theory of what a function is and what a data type is. We're going to cover all those things in future videos. Uh, but for now, what's important is that this is the main method, uh, main function, sorry, it's not a method, uh, the main function, which is essentially the entry point of the script. So everything that we want to do, we're going to put in here. By the way, this is a comment uh, with two slashes, you can initialize a comment, this is not something that is taken into account by the compiler, you can write whatever you want here, whatever you want, and it's not going to have any effect on your script, it's just for taking notes, for example. Um, now, our goal was to, to write a Hello World program. So we need something that allows us to print Hello World onto the screen. And in Python, this was a print function. In C++, it's a C out function. The, the function is called C out, but we cannot just use it directly uh, with a default stack of libraries, with a default functionality. In order to use it, what we need to do is we need to import uh, or to include a library called IOStream. And in order to include a library here, we use a hashtag symbol to initialize that we're going to include something right now, or actually to initialize that we're using a so-called preprocessor directive, but this is a concept for a future video. Uh, and then we're going to say include IO stream. This is how you include the library IO stream. And this library is the input output stream library. And we need, to, uh, we need to have an output stream in order to output something onto the screen. And, um, in order to access the C out function, this is another concept of the C++ language, we need to access its namespace. So we have uh, in, in the IO stream library, we have different namespaces. And one of those is STD. And STD is essentially the namespace for, uh, or the namespace where the C out function is in. And uh, in order to access the C out function from that namespace, we're going to use two colons and C out. So this is how you access the C out function of the STD namespace from the IO stream module. I hope that's not too complicated here. Uh, and in order to get some data into that C out function, in order to pass some data that we want to print onto the screen to that C out function, we do not call it, but we send the data to it using angle brackets or using arrows. So what we do is we do this here, two angle brackets, two opening tags uh, that point towards the C out function. And then we feed the text into that function. So we say, hello world like that. So this here is a string. This here is a text. And we feed this text here using those two tags here, uh, into the C out function. And we can now go ahead and also add an end line tag, which is essentially just uh, a line break. So if you want to start a new line, you do that. And we add another, uh, or 
or two more of those arrows and then we say std end line or end end l which is the end line tag here so this is actually what we need to do and as you can see we end uh every line every instruction with a so-called semicolon this is also new if you're used to python only uh, you don't have semicolons there this is what you do in in order to signal that this line is now over you don't need to uh or, or actually the compiler doesn't need to worry about more code coming. This statement is done and we're done with this line of code. So this is actually the script that is uh, producing a hello world program. We're now going to compile it uh, using G++. So in order to compile the script, what we do is we run a terminal here by clicking on new terminal and then we navigate to the desktop where we have written our script. Then we can use a G++ compiler that we installed in the last video and say G++ main.cpp by specifying the minus o tag here, we can also specify what we want uh, the file name to be of the executable file. In this case, just main.exe. And by clicking enter, we can see that we have an executable file on our desktop. When we run it, we're not going to see anything, of course, because the output happens and then it's gone. But if we go ahead and run it in the terminal, we can just say main.exe. You can see it says hello world. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And one more thing that I would like to mention is that I said script two times in this video. Uh, this was a mistake because of course, we're not talking about a scripting language here. We're talking about programs or applications. Just keep that in mind. Whenever I say script, I'm, I'm just used to Python. So I say script a couple of times, but I mean program and application. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and 